Hello humans, I'm the Alien Doctor and today I am going to be showing you how to connect to custom servers on Minecraft Bedrock Edition for Nintendo Switch. A little bit like the one I'm on right now, although uh, ig ignore the skin, I couldn't get my regular one. Now the other thing to point out is that you do need to be a Nintendo Switch Online member. Unfortunately, that's just required for any online play on Nintendo Switch. I know it's annoying, I trust me, I literally had to buy it specifically for this video, but it is what it is. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's begin the tutorial. So firstly, make sure that Minecraft is closed like it is there and then head over to the settings. Scroll down to the internet tab and click on internet settings. Eventually, it will come up with a list of Wi-Fi networks or if you're like me and using a wired connection, you'll have that as well. Bear in mind, you'll have to do this for each individual Wi-Fi that you connect to. So for example, if I unplug my USB to Ethernet adapter right now and used my home Wi-Fi instead, I would have to set this up again because I only have it set up for the wired connection. But anyway, click on the Wi-Fi you're currently connected to and then click on change settings. It will then open a page like this where you're going to want to change DNS settings to manual. And in the primary DNS box, you're gonna wanna put in these numbers. I'll also put a link in the description to some alternative ones that you can try if these ones do not work or are really laggy for you. And then in the secondary DNS box, you can use any that you want. So I'm personally just using the Google one, I believe. And then you can go ahead and press the save button to save these settings. Then if you go ahead and open back Minecraft again, make sure that you give it enough time to log into your Microsoft account and Nintendo account and all that, which for some reason, on Nintendo Switch takes ages. If you haven't already, you also need to make sure that your Microsoft account is linked to your Nintendo Switch, which mine is. There'll be a button down there like it is right now, or it's just changed, that will uh, instruct you on how to do a Microsoft account. So once your Microsoft and Nintendo account have finally signed in, because it seems to take ages on Switch, if you press play and head over to servers, you can then join one of these featured servers. Now you may be thinking, But Alien, I want to join a custom server, not a featured server. I know, just bear with me. If we go ahead and join any server, I'm just going to do the hive, but it works with most of them, maybe even any of them. If it doesn't work first try, then just try a different featured server, but you'll see what happens in a second. That is not what's meant to happen. Okay, so evidently the hive is not working for me right now. So I'm just go ahead, gonna go ahead and use Mineville because why not? And it looks like Mineville is actually going to work for me. So once it eventually loads, you'll be greeted with this list where you could go ahead and connect to a server and simply just put in your the server IP, server port, the optional display name on the server list, and then whether you want to add it to the server list, which is basically like adding the server so you don't have to type in these credentials every time. There's manage server list for ones that you've already added, so you can add a new one, edit one if you want to edit the IP or port of that, and then remove one as well if you want to remove it from your server list. And then down here, we have your custom server list. So I have Kingdoms Crusade, Pinecraft and UFO SMP added. And then you can see if we go down even more, we have all of these featured servers as well. And of course, it's pretty simple to connect to a server. You simply select that server and we should see in a second that I'll now join the Pinecraft server, which by the way, I make a survival Let's Play series on, so you should go check that out. And as you can see, I have successfully managed to join into the Pinecraft server, although I think this is technically spoilers. I don't think this episode has released yet, so uh, don't look at anything, nothing to see here. And with that, that's going to be the end of today's video. If you found this useful or you'd like to see more Minecraft Bedrock Edition content, then don't forget to subscribe today to join the Alien Empire. I'll see you in the next video coming very, very soon. Bye.